Hey there and welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And also, don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. It'll help my channel grow. So for today's tutorial, we're going to do two different DIYs. Um, the first one we're going to go ahead and get started on is the charger. Now, I had this great charger at home already, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, this used to be gold, and I spray painted it gray. But uh, you can purchase any kind of charger you like and use it as is or spray paint it the color of your choice. And now I'm going to get this uh, feather boa that you can get at Dollar Tree right now in your holiday section. And I'm just going to simply glue it around my charger, uh, putting my charger upside down and gluing the boa on the back side of your charger. And I didn't use anything but my hot glue gun to add the boa to um, my charger and it stayed on just nice and snug. If you want, you can go ahead and add some fix all glue or E6000 uh, to make it more secure, but I was happy with just my hot glue gun. And once you're done wrapping your entire, uh, entire charger, just go ahead and you can either cut the remainder boa the way I am, or you can just continue to glue it around and um, your charger and just have it thicker on one side. And there you have it, your charger. Now you can leave it as is, but what I decided to do was go ahead and grab some of these uh, purple roses that you can also get at Dollar Tree right now. They're uh, four to five in a, a stem. I'm not sure exactly how many. I believe there was five of them. And um, But I typically just go ahead and glue them and remove the backing from your rose and then go ahead and glue them onto your charger. They also have black roses right now um, at Dollar Tree. So if you wanted to pick those up and have it all black, it would look pretty too. So just go ahead and add the roses to the color of your choice. And what I'm doing is also going to add some of this spider web. Um, I want to say they're like a Christmas tree decors, but I'm adding them cutting off the string and adding them to the sides of my roses. And what I'm doing is trying to glue the spider webs close to the edge, but not um, into the center of the charger. That way, when you do place your plate on your charger, it will stay nice and secure in the middle and there wouldn't, um, the spider web won't um, bother it. And there you have it, a Halloween charger for your table centerpiece. And I also purchased some black uh, plates from Dollar Tree and added them to my charger to complete my charger uh, table centerpiece or display. Now for our second DIY, what we're going to do is basically get some needle and thread. And then I got some black yarn also from Dollar Tree and just grab something that you, um, a square or whatever size, even some cardboard or napkins and wrap the yarn around it as many times as you choose, which I wrapped it around uh, roughly about eight times. Then cut a piece of yarn and wrap it, um, tie a knot to one of the edges of your yarn that you wrapped around whatever container you choose to use and then cut the opposite side. 
Now with the yarn that you tied on top, just go ahead and wrap it around. And then you wrap the other one around the other piece of the yarn and then you're going to tie a knot. And what I do is I simply tie it both ways and then I add a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it stays nice and secure and it doesn't unravel where I knotted it. And there you have it. Now I forgot to leave a little bit for the hook so I could actually hang it. So what I'm doing is just opening up where I uh, tie the knot and adding another piece of yarn in there just to make the ring to hang it on anything you choose to which we'll be hanging it and tied it to the end of our garland. Now just go ahead and kind of run your fingers through it, make sure it's even, and then just cut it all off, whatever excess you have of yarn at the bottom. Now what I'm going to use to make this garland is this vase filler. And there's black and orange um, little foam balls in it. And what I'm doing is basically going to run the foam balls into my yarn. But before you do that, just go ahead and add one just to make sure you know where you're going to place your um, garland ropes that you did on the bottom. And all I did was tie it to my yarn. And now you can start adding all your uh, vase filler balls into your yarn. And you just simply thread them through. It's a uh, foam, so it's going to be very easy for you to slide your balls through your yarn. And make whatever design you choose to. And you can use actually whatever size of this vase filler that you choose to. There is different sizes. I'm using the largest one that comes in this package. And the pattern that I'm using is basically three black and then two orange. And then I just continue that, that pattern throughout the entire garland. And there's plenty of this um, vase filler that you can make at least two to three of these garlands um, of different size balls. So once you're done and you're happy with the size of your garland, go ahead and you can either tie a knot at the end or what I'm doing is basically going to use one of these spider webs that come five in a package. And I'm going to leave the yarn that it comes with the string to hang it and I'm going to tie it to my yarn. And I just simply knot it through a few times until I'm happy and I know that's going to stay nice and secure. And there you have it. And see how many balls you still have left. And here it is in a close up. Super cute. What do you guys think? And here it is where I'm displaying mine. You guys let me know in the comments down below which one you're going to make or are you going to make both of these DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.